Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make professional looking thumbnails for YouTube, YouTube videos, and that you can put on your YouTube videos, only if you're a partner though, that's the annoying part that some of you will not be able to do it because you're not partnered, probably most of you, but anyways, how to make a professional looking thumbnail that will attract audiences to your video. Um. This is very important, and I hope you guys learned something today. Enjoy. You could use Photoshop if you know it better, but I'm just going to show you how you would do it. I use After Effects, because I know it well. Well, you're, here's a trick shot video, for example, and you're going to find a frame that would work well as a thumbnail. And... Thing that'll work good and make sure it's on HD as big as it gets, big it gets and then if you're on a Mac I don't know what it is on PC but on a Mac it's command shift 4 and you get a screenshot thing and you just drag it across and it takes a screenshot then you're going to go into After Effects you're going to right click um, import file. Then it'll come up and then you go to desktop and you'll get your most recent screenshot. Now you're going to create a new composition with, you're going to want a uh, width. You have to do it at this exact width. It's what YouTube accepts. It's 640 by 360. It's 69 ratio. Uh, everything else doesn't matter. Then you're going to drag that into here, bring it forward, scale it down, position it how you want it to look. Now, set this to full. We're going to want to make it look like it's, make it look like it's actually professional. So you're going to go to color correction, curves. Um, you're gonna bring up the contrast. You're gonna go to color correction, hue and saturation, whatever it is. Um, you're gonna bring down the saturation. Uh, and then let's go to generate lens flare. Um, uh, and then we will. Actually, let's cut that, create a new solid, make the solid black, paste it on the solid so you have your lens flare. Put it up there. Um, actually, don't scale that up. Turn the brightness up. Turn the opacity down a little. Set it to add. And then let's set the center to someplace where it would look cool. Like right above his head, or my head, what am I talking about? Color correction tint to make it like that, and then we're going to set it to kind of a sunsetty color, because this was shot near sunset. It's not very sunsetty, let's make it a little more orange. Okay, so now we have that, now we're going to go for text. So, I like to create my text, let's say, frizz, be, trick, shot. Frisbee trick shots, um, command A, set it to black, yeah, I'll go with Melina, uh, turn it down so it fits, but m remember, these are going to be small, so you're going to want it well seen, uh, you have to click this, you can't press P, because it's in the text field, um, and then, as you see here, it's kind of hard to read some of the parts, so, you're going to want to duplicate it, Actually, never mind. Command Shift C or uh, Layer Precompose, so you can edit it. Um, title, and then you're gonna duplicate it, and then with the bottom one, you're gonna add a stylized glow. You're gonna turn that up, and then on top of that, 
you're going to add color correction tint and you're going to change this to white so you are both of them are white um, tint and then the glow and now if you look at this uh change the position if you move them wow these are offset sorry 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 um Now, if you move these around, you see it has like an edge, so it can be red better. It's not much, but it looks good. Now, let's create a new layer, um, a solid. Let's make it kind of the color we want to fill in, uh, kind of uh, that. Um, we'll take the ellipse tool, zoom out here mask the upper part press F turn the feather up quite a bit pop it behind the titles and then change the blending mode to I think I'll actually go with multiply and then it gives kind of a hue looks a little more professional and then we'll duplicate it and then we'll change the top one just to normal so as you can see, with it kind of gives a hue for the whiter colors because those are normally going to be bleached out. Okay. We can do Command Shift H to hide all that. It's starting to look good. Let's create a new solid. Let's make it white. This is just for effect. It looks kind of high tech. You say generate grid. Where is it? Grid. Um, set it kind of big actually and make it kind of look futuristic by being thin now we're going to layer pre-compose uh, make sure you say move all attributes grid then we are going to do the same thing except we're going to try to center it around the title ok there we go Let's feather it out that much and then we can change the position to be kind of more over there um, put it behind the titles now it's starting to look good um, what else might you want you might um, let's do some more little nifty tricks so let's take the title, duplicate the bottom one, and what did I just do? Press V and we'll move it to the side just a little. And it'll kind of make look like the letters are popping out, even though they're not. Um yeah. Some people might not have this, and actually I think most people don't have this, most people probably don't even have After Effects, but we are going to create Optical Flares, okay. um, it's a plugin by Video Copilot, uh, check them out, they're really helpful, they create great plugins, it might be a little bit pricey for some, but hit Options, then we're going to go to Motion Graphics, and uh, let's pick monster flare because that one looks kind of epic but as i said we're going to probably change it to a yellow um okay it's going to be really bright so we'll turn the brightness down to about 60. change the blending mode this time i'm going with screen since this is a full uh, lens flare and then we're gonna put it beside our title so it creates these lines that go across our title that's a good effect right now I'm looking at it I'm seeing that we should probably make the text a little bigger that's why I did this so in here you can edit your text um, and it will change it for all three layers because it's set up 
that way. So now, frisbee trick shots. Okay, um, let's move it down so we can actually see the whole thing. Let's move it to the right so it looks kind of more epic. Perfect. Um, then if you want to create a border that looks good, let's create a new solid. Let's make it, let's make it gray. Okay. Then you're going to say, um, generate ramp, uh, white, black. We're going to create it at an angle. So it looks kind of cool. Then we're going to create a rectangle. Uh, click, hold command when you're dragging it, and it will make it perfect to the size. Put it about there. Say subtract. And then you're going to create another one across like this. Um, and you're also going to subtract that one. And then we're going to change it back to this little. Um, if you need any any help on this, because I know I'm not really doing a good job for explaining it for the beginners, um, uh, you're gonna want to feather yourself. Just contact me somehow. I'll get back to you. And I think that looks pretty good. As you can see, when it's small, it's kind of eye catching. And thanks for watching.